Kiitos isendele. Halleluja. I think I'm on. Can you hear me? All right. What an honor to be here. See on väga suur au minu jaoks olla täna siine. Far too much said by Barry. Ja liiga palju on pastel Barry poolt juba öeldud. Uh, we're just blessed to, to be a part. Me lihtsalt oleme õnnistuda, et olla osa sellest. And I don't uh, get to come to Estonia as often as I like. Ja ma ei saa Eestis käia nii tihti, kui ma sooviks seda. But yet for the times that I've been here, I feel uh, connected. Aga need aad, kui ma olen siin olnud, ma olen tunnud seda, et ma olen ühendatud. So good to see my friend Roland. Nii et väga hea meel näha mu sõpra Rolandite. Made a special trip this morning. Ta tegi täna hommikul võttis erilise reisi ette, et siia tulla. If we weren't having so much fun, I'd have him get up and lead calisthenics for all of us like we do at camp. Say again. So if we weren't having so much fun, I'd have him stand up and do calisthenics like we do at camp. Ah, et uh, nii lahe on olnud ja võttis calisthenics. Yeah, all those stretches and exercises. Ah, okay, et, ja, et seal laagrisem, et, ja, et see oleks nii lahe, kui ma laseks tal tulla siia ette ja et me saaksime võid teha venitusi asju, mida me laagris tegime. <laughs> and uh, many more, Tuli. Ja, Tuli ja... Uh, so many, I, I will start missing folks, but we love you. Et nii palju on neid inimesi siina. Ja me armastame teid. This is my daughter's, my oldest daughter, Avery, her first trip. Ja see on siis minu vanema tütre, Avery, esimene reis siia. My youngest has been a couple times, her name's Riley. Ja minu noorim on siin paar kord olnud, tema nime on Riley. Uh, Riley and Julie were disappointed they couldn't join us. Ja Riley ja Julie nad olid väga pettunud, et nad ei saanud ühineda meiega. Uh, but we are very honored to be here. Aga me jaoks on väga suur au olla siina. And very excited for you this morning. Ja olen väga põnevile siina tee suhtes. Especially the, uh, the 8 to 10 that we're going to have to break this place down like you did the last time I came. Ja eriti selle asja pärast, et ei pea siin asju kõike jälle kokku panema nii nagu eemne kord, kui ma siin käisin. Put everything away in closets. Et peate kõike püsti panema, siis jälle kõik lahti võtma, panema kõik kapidesse. And then come back again early next week and set up again. Ja järg nädal jälle varaku hommikul kohal tulema jälle kõik üles panema. That is awesome. See on väga võimas asi. Amen. No more. Et enam seda ei pea olema. In, in Tulsa we started our church in a high school auditorium. Ja Tulsas me alustasime meie kogudusega siis keskkooli auditoriumis saalis. It's probably been about 17 years ago. Ja see on tõenäoliselt 17 aastat tagasi. And so we understand uh, how much work is involved in going in the morning of. Nii et me mõistame seda, kui palju tööd on vaja teha selleks, et kui sa lähed hommikuti sisse sinna nii. Hanging lights. Et sa paned siis tuled paika. Setting up all the sound equipment. Kõik elitehnika paned paika. Uh, rolling carpet for the kids. Siis veeretad lahti vaiba laste jaoks. And when the kids multiply, then you got to put walls up. Ja siis kui lapsi tuleb juurde rohkem, siis sa pead seinabel ette panema. Get a few more kids, need a few more walls. See saad, tuleb rohkem lapsi, on rohkem seinu vaja. So you move from one closet to two closets. Siis on ühe kappi asemel saab olema kaks kappi. Moving trucks. Siis on need kolimisautod. And so what a joy it is to have a place to call home. Milline rõõm see on, kui sul on paik, mida nimetada koduks. And, and I believe the best is ahead for this church. Ja mina usun seda, et parim on selle koguduse heaks veel ees. And as Pastor Barry was sharing, I, I, I do believe that I've got a, a message just for you this morning. Ja nii nagu Pastor Barry jagas, ma usun seda, et mul on täna sõnum sinu heaks. Uh, for me as well. Ja samuti ka minu enda heaks. Uh, if you enjoy athletics. Et kui sulle meeldib sport. Sports of any kind. Et mingit sorti sport üldse. Uh, the, the key to success siis, uh, see võti eduks isn't in fancy place ei ole selles väga ilusas paigas läikima löödud paigas it's not always the biggest the strongest and the fastest that win alati ei ole see kes on see kõige tugevam kõige suurem ja kõige kiirem kes võidab but it's those who do the little things right vaid need kes teevad väikseid asju õigesti they do the little things right every time nad iga kord teevad need väikseid asjad õigesti iga kord every day every week e, iga päev iga nädal and so uh, I just want to encourage you this morning. Ja mina soovin sind täna hommikul julgustada. God's got a good plan. Jumalal on hea plaan. He has a good plan for your life. Ta on hea plaan sinu elu jaoks. He has a good plan for your family. Ta on hea plaan sinu pere jaoks. He has good plans for your children. Ta on hea plaan sinu laste jaoks. He has good plans for this church. Ta on hea plaan selle kogudus jaoks. And so if you have your Bibles, nii et kui teil on te biiblik kaasas, go ahead and get those out. Siis võtke need välja. There's a, uh, a great man of God. Ja on üks vägev Jumala mees. Uh, I think he's been in heaven for about 10 years now. Ja ma arvan, et ta on nüüd taevas olnud umbes 10 aastat. 
but he spoke into the to the body of Christ. Aga tema rääkis Kristuse ihusse paljusid asju. It wasn't exclusive to the United States. Ja, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't just he didn't just preach in the United ja, States. Ja, see ei olnud ainult siis Ameerika ühendriikide jaoks, vaid aga õpetas jutlustas mõjal. But he preached around the world on every continent. Vaid üle maailma igal igal mandril igal pool tema oli jutlustamas. Maybe not always standing behind a pulpit. Ja, ta võib-olla iga kord ei seisnud siis kantslise. But his books, his tapes, his CDs. Aga tema raamatud, siis tema CD, tema kassetide. And he was kind of a rudder for the body of Christ, a stabilizer. Ja tema oli siis nagu selline stabilisaator Kristus ihu jaoks. He pioneered the message of faith. Tema oli see, kes oli usu sõnumi pioneere. Preached it like nobody had preached it prior to him. Ta kuulutas, jutlustas nii nagu mitte keegi kunagi sellest jutlustanud ei olnud enne teda. And he was able to do that because he'd walked it out. Ja ta oli võimeline tegema seda, kuna tema oli ise elanud seda elu, ta käis elas seda elu. God raised him about from the dead as a young man. Ja Jumal tõstis tema suurnust üles siis, kui ta oli alles noor mees. Touched his body. Üles ja, ja, ja ta puudutas ta keha. Healed him. Tegi ta terveks. And in his last days. Ja tema viimastel päevadele. Everywhere he would preach and teach. Igal pool, kus kohas ta õpetas või jutlustas, he would, he would ask, ta küsis, really tell, ja, ja ütles, says, you know what God is doing in these last days? Et kas sa tead, mida Jumal on tegemas nendel viimastel päevadele? He's raising up strong local churches, ta tõstab üles tugevad kohalikud kogudused, that know how to flow with the Holy Spirit. Kes teavad, kuidas voolata pühas vaimuse. If there's one thing I know about Pastor Barry and Brenda, ja kui on üks asi, mida ma tean Pastor Barry ja Brenda kohta, when you come to church, you're going to hear from the Word of God. On see, et kui sina tuled kogudusse, siis sina kuuled Jumala sõnast. And he knows the Spirit of God. Ja ta tunneb Jumala vaimu. The greater one lives on the inside of him. See suurem võim saame elab tema sees. Inside of Miss Brenda. Ja, m- m- Brenda sees elab. And so if the Holy Spirit wants to take a service and turn it, nii et kui püha vaim soovib tulla ja võtta ja suunata seda teenistus teise kohta, for just one person siis ühe lihtsalt ühe inimese kaudu for one family ühe ühe pere ja ühe pere jaoks uh, um, they're going to follow the spirit of god ühe inimese jaoks ühe pere jaoks siis nad järgnevad jumala vaimule you know the bible says jesus as a shepherd he was an example ja sa tead seda et jeesus tema oli eeskujuks kuidas olla karjane and you know the story in the gospels ja te teate seda lugu evangeeliumitesse how about Jesus would leave the 99 just to go chase the one? Kuidas Jeesus jätis maha need 99 selleks, et minna selle ühe järgi? And then God demonstrated his love for us in this. Ja siis Jumal näitas meile oma armastus selles. He loved us so much. Et tema armastas meid nii palju. That he gave Jesus to die in your place et, and mine. Et tema andis Jeesuse tema suri meie eest, sinu eest. So that we could have the ability to choose. Et meil saaks olla see võimalus valida. To receive eternal life. Et vastu võtta igavene elu. Abundant life. Ja küllusik elu. Thank God we know we're going to heaven. Tänu Jumal on sellest, et me teame, et me oleme minema taevasse. But I don't know about you for this time right here on the earth. Aga ma tean seda, et sinu jaoks praegu siin sellel ajal maa peal. I'm glad to walk in the life of God. Ma tean, ma olen rõõmus, et ma saan käia Jumala eluse. He's working in my body. Ta teeb tööd minu kehas. He's working in my finances. Ta teeb tööd minu raha asjadese. He's working with my kids. Ta teeb tööd minu laste kallal. That's the God kind of life he wants for you. Ja, see on see Jumala sorti elu, mida tema soovib sinu jaoks. He wants to help you at work. Ta soovib aidata sind tööle. He wants to help you to be a better husband. Ta soovib aidata sul olla parem abikasa. Better wife. Eh, parem siis mees, parem naine oma abikasa jaoks. Better father or mother. Parem isa, parem ema. You know God knows how to wrestle. Ja kas, et, et Jumal hoolib ka sellest, et sa saaksid hästi maadelda. He knows how to play football. Et Jumal teab, kuidas siis mängida jalgpalli, kuidas maadelda. I guess here that would be well I guess there would be soccer for me in America. Ja siis uh, Ameerikas nimetatakse siis soccer et uh, teist moodi. But there's nothing too big for God. Aga Jumala jaoks ei ole mitte midagi liiga suurt. And there's nothing that's too small. Ja pole mitte midagi mis on liiga väike. He cares about everything that you care about. Tema hoolib kõiges sellest milles sina hoolid. Bible says that he gives us the desires of our heart. Ja piibel ütleb seda et tema annab meile meie südame igatsused. He wants to give you those things that you desire. Tema soovib sul anda need asjad mida sina igatsed. But then there's times God will put desires in you. Aga on aegu, kus kohas tema paneb igatsused sinusse. To do things. Et teha asju. To go places. Et minna kohtadesse. I remember as a young man like Roland. Ma mäletan seda, et mina noore mehena sellel ajal, kui ma olin nii, selline noor mees nagu Roland praegu. I was sitting at a youth camp up in the mountains of Colorado. Et ma olin noorte laagris ja istusin seal mägedes, Coloradose. Like you take your kids to Prongli. Nii nagu teie viite oma lapsed Prongli saarele. 
And we had a guest speaker in. Ja, meil oli seal külalis jutustaja. And uh, I was new to church. Ja, minu jaoks kogudus oli uus asi. I'd come out of the Catholic Church. Et ma olin tulnud välja siis katoliku kirikuste. Into a church that preached the Bible. Kogudusse, kus kohas kuulutati ja õpetati piibliste. They uh, knew the Holy Spirit. Nad tundsid püha vaimu. And he, the, the, the minister started talking to us. Ja, siis see teenistus hakkas rääkima meile. And said, there's some of you here. Ja, ta ütles, et siin on mõned. That God's calling you to ministry. Et keda Jumal kutsub veel teenistusse. And I didn't even know what ministry was. Ja mina ütlesin teanu, mis asi see ministri, see teenistus on. I knew that I loved the church. Ma teadsin seda, et, et ma armastasin kogudusta. I knew that I always left encouraged. Ma teadsin seda, et iga kord, kui ma seda läksin, ma olin julgustatuda. I always left with hope. Alati läksin seda lootusega. Uh, there were good people there. Seal olid head inimesed koos. Good friends. Head sõbrade. But... Uh, 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 by the Spirit of God, he spoke into my life. And a desire began to stir. To go and to preach the gospel. To some that have never heard. And for all of us, we need to keep hearing. The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. We constantly have to just keep taking in the word. Uh, Jesus said in John chapter 6. He said, my words are spirit and they are life. And so when you read the Bible at your home. When you sit underneath the teaching of Pastor Barry. When your children are in children's church with Miss Brenda and the kui, team. Kui on kirikuse, koos Brendaga ja tema meeskonnaga, the word of God is going forth. Siis Jumala sõna läheb seal edasi. And the spirit in the word. Ja vaim Jumala sõnas, it begins to work inside of you. See hakkab tegema tööd sinu sees. It begins to work inside of your see children. See hakkab tegema tööd sinu lastes. You see, there is no age requirement with God. Ja tead, et Jumala juures ei, ei ole mingit sellist vanuse nõuete. The Bible says God is no respecter of persons. Et piibel ütleb seda, et Jumal ei, ei siis ühte inimeste eelista teisele. And he wants to move and touch the lives of your children. Ja ta soovib liikuda ja ta soovib puudutada sinu laste eluside. He wants them to be born again at a very young age. Ta soovib seda, et nad väga noores eas saaksid päästetud sünniksid uuesti. They can be filled with the Spirit of God. Nad võivad saada täidetud Jumala vaimuga. They can speak in tongues just like any man or woman. And when we get them in a place, a church, they become a part of a family like this one here. And they become born again, filled with the Spirit of God. Uh, they avoid many detours the devil would try to set up for them. Ja siis nad võidavad ära need, nad saab minna mööda lõksudest võita ära need lahingud, mis saata nende ette panev. Because the Bible is clear. Kuna piibel on väga selge. The devil, kurat, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. Ta tuleb siia selleks, et varastada, tappa ja hävitada. But Jesus came to give us life. Aga Jeesus tuli siia selleks, et anda meile elu. And to give it to us in abundance. Ja anda seda küllusliikult. Amen. 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 Well, Amen. I better get back over and try to get on a track here or we're going to just shotgun you all day. Ja ma parem tulen siia ta, et ma lähen tagasi siia nüüd märkmete juurde, et muidu sinne jätkuvalt saab lastud sellest pumpüssiste. Thank you. You're welcome. Make his job interesting. Et teen tema töö huvitavaks. Listen, this is the day of the local church. Ja see on praegu kohaliku, kohalikude koguduste aega. Jesus is coming back soon. Jeesus tuleb varsti tagasi. I'd like to read uh, from James chapter 5 verse 7. Ja ma soovin praegu lugeda Jakobuse kiri 5 peal üks salm 7. It says, "Be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and hath long patience for it until he receives the early and latter rain." Olge nüüd pika meelega, vennad issanda tulemise tulemiseni vaata, põllumes ootab kallis põllu pika meelega, kuni ta saab varase ja hilise vihma. You see, God's waiting for more precious fruit. Ja näed seda, Jumal ta ootab en rohkem kallist vilja. There are many more in Tallinn. Tallinnas on paljude veel. Many more in Estonia. Palju rohkem veel on Eestis. Many more in the continent of Europe. Euroopas on palju rohkem. And around the world. Ja üle kogu maailma. That need to know Jesus. Kes pead saama tundma Jeesust. 
God gave him to us so that we could choose to become a part of the family of God. Because when our great, 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 great grandparents Adam and Eve disobeyed God we were all separated from him. And the only way we can get back ja ainus viis, kuidas meie võime saada tagasi, is through Jesus on läbi Jeesuse, an invitation ja läbi kutse, to have him come live in our hearts. Et tema tuleks elaks meie südameise. Amen, that's the start. Amen. Ja see on see alguse. So it's important to be at church. Nii et see on tähtis olla koguduses. And it's important to pray and read the Bible. Ja tähtis on palletada, lugeda piiblit. But the entrance into the family of God is just a decision. Aga sisenemine Jumala perekonda sena on otsus. Inviting Jesus in. See, et sa kutsuda Jeesuse sisse. And then we get in with a family, a ja, local church. Ja siis me saame sisse kohaliku kogudusse, Kristuse ihusse. And pastors who love us. Ja siis see pastorite juurde, kes armastavad meide. Who hear from God to help guide us and direct us. Kes kuulavad Jumalalt selleks, et juhatada meid, aidata meid. They just help. Nemad seda aitavad. Thank God, we don't have to have a priest or a, a minister or a man or a woman. Tänu Jumal on sellest, et meil ei pea olema siis preester või keegi... See again... Uh, somebody to go talk to God for us. Through Jesus, we can talk to him ourselves. But yet we have those that have been seasoned. And they've taken the place uh, that God's put them in, a supernatural office. Uh, your pastors are gifts from God. And so he's just as much a man as you are. And he goes through the same challenges that you do. But yet, uh, um, God uses him to speak into your lives. Many times to confirm things that are stirring in your heart. Ja tehtida kinnitab neid asju, mis on sinu südames nii öelda keemase. Or to share things from the Bible that you've never seen. Või siis ta jagab asju sulle piiblis, mida sina varem ei ole näinud. Or maybe you've seen them, but you didn't understand exactly. Võib- God will help. Võibolla sina oled neid näinud, aga sa päris ei mõistnud, aga Jumal aitab sind läbi tema. And so thank God for good pastors. Nii, tänu Jumalale heade pastorit eest. Amen. Amen. So there is a harvest coming. Nii et on lõikust tulemase. And, uh, you know, when we were flying into Tallinn, ja, tead seda, kui meie Tallinnasse, Avery took many shots of the fields all around. Siis Avery ta võtis, tegi mitu pilti sellest maast, mis siin paistis, siis. And when there's a harvest coming of whatever crop, ja, kui lõikus on tulemas, mis iganes viljast, there are barns that must be built to protect those crops. Siis on vaja ehitada aidade, kuhu siis see vili viiakse, nii et see kaitseb seda saaki seal. To keep the hay dry. Et hoida see hei kuivana. Keep it safe. Hoida see turvalisena. Take good care of it. Kanda head hold selle eest. Well, listen, God's a good farmer. Ja kuule seda, Jumal on hea põllumees. Jesus is coming back soon. Jeesus tuleb varsti tagasi. The harvest is increasing. Ja see lõikus kasvab. Bigger barns are being built. Suuremaid, siis neid aitasid ehitatakse. More barns are being built. Ja rohkem aitasid veel ehitatakse. You now have a home. Ja sul on, nii et sul on kodu. When we're done today, you can walk out, lock the doors, everything stays just like it is. Ja kui sa täna siit lähed, kui me täna siit lähme, pane mukse tukku ja kõik jääb nii nagu oli siin. And I encourage you, this is a place you can call home. Ja ma julgustan sind, et see on paik, mida sina saad kutsuda koduks. And this is a place that you come too often. Ja, see on paiku kohta, sina tuleb tihti. I encourage you whenever the doors are open to try to be here with you and ja your family. Ja ma julgustan sind, et igakord, kui siin uksed on avatud, tule siia kohale, et olla koos oma perega. As a believer, the Spirit of God lives on the inside of ja, each one of you. Ja, uskelikuna Jumala vaim elab igas ühest teise. But the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. Aga piibel ütleb seda, et tema siis elab oma rahva ülistuse peale. So even after today as we come in and we worship and praise him together. Nii et isegi peale seda, kui me tuleme täna siia ja oleme kokku tunnud, ülistanud teda koos. There's a corporate anointing. Siis on seal selline ühisvõidmine. His presence that begins to fill this place. Tema ligi olu hakkab täitma seda paika siin. And, and he will start saturating these seats. Ja siis tema hakkab siis püüdsema neid paiku siin. He'll start neid saturating these walls. Ja, ja neid seinu. He'll start saturating this floor. Ja, ja seda põrandat hakkab siin püüdsema. 
And when people come to church, ja siis kui inimesed tulevad kogudusse, before a song has been sung, enne kui laul on laul, laul on lauluda, before you all arrive, enne seda kui te kõik siia kohale tulete, I believe in the days ahead. Ma usun seda, et need päevad, mis on eelse, They'll just come and they'll walk through those upper doors. And the peace of God will begin to rest. Because the Bible says, where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. And so even coming into this physical location, this place that you call home, and then many more will call home. Ja paljud veel saad seda kutsuma oma kodukse. Walking through the doors there's healing power available. Kui sina tuled siit ustes sisse siis siin on terendav vägi saadaval. Walking through the doors there's liberty in the atmosphere. Ja kui sina astud sisse neist ustes siis siin on vabadus vabadus õhkonda. And so it's time to to step up. Need aeg on astuda ülesse, astuda esile. It, it's time as a church family to be ready. Aeg on kootsena perena olla valmis. Because uh, Pastor Barry will be prepared to preach. But there are going to need to be ushers to take up offerings. Your children's church is going to grow. From the nursery to the oldest. And Pastor Barry and, and Brenda, they can't be everywhere all the time. And so this is an exciting opportunity. For us as a family to step up. Be very warm. To be very welcoming. You have a place that you can invite co-workers. Neighbors. And when you testify about the good things God's doing in your life. When they see the blessing of the Lord that rests upon you. And everything you put in your hand to is being blessed. They will ask. How, how, do, how do you do it? And that's your opportunity. You don't have to, to beat them with a Bible. You don't have to speak King James. Just being very real, this is God loves us. He, He's doing this for me. He's doing this for my children. He's increasing us. Come and visit. Come hear about how he wants to help you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm having a hard time staying on track. Uh, let's look at Matthew chapter 9. I'm going to start reading verse 35. It says, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Ja Jeesus rändas läbi kõik linnad ja külad, õpetades nende sünagoogides ja jutustades evangeeliumi kuningriigist ja parandades kõiki, kõiki haigused ja kõik nõtrused. Verse 36 says, But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. I want you to notice in verse 35, it says, Jesus went about preaching, teaching, and healing every sickness. Õpetas ja jutlustas ja tervendas. Didn't say just a few. Et ta ei rääkki kõiki. Siin ei ütle lihtsalt, et ainult mõnda. There weren't qualifications for special people could be healed et, and others couldn't. Et ei olnud olemas mingit nõudmised, et taalt mingit teatud erilis sort inimesed võib saa terveks, aga teised ei saa. Uh, Jesus is the same yesterday, today and Jeesus forever. on see sama eile, täna ja igavesti. In the days ahead, I believe you're going to see more healing power working in the church. Universal as well as in this local body. And so if you're fighting or working through a, a, a health challenge, I encourage you to just be in this place. 
Your pastor will preach to you about what the Bible says. Sinu pastor kuulutab sulle seda, mida Bible ütleb. Build up your faith. Et ehita, see ehitab üles sinu usku. The word of God, it's life to all of our flesh. Jumala sõna on terviseks kogu meie kehale, lihale. Even this morning Eluks. we're getting a dose of medicine just being at church. Ja täna omikul ka me saame kätte toosi raavimid lihtsalt läbi selle, et me ei oleme siin koguses kohale. Uh, but in verse 36, the Bible says Jesus was moved with compassion. Because the people fainted, they were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Every believer needs a pastor. You need somebody to speak into your life. Somebody who has submitted himself to the great shepherd. And who is praying and, and studying and preparing to speak into your lives weekly. Because the church is a supernatural place. Pastor Barry is very well trained. Ja, Pastor Barry on väga hästi treenitud. But he doesn't just minister out of his head. Aga ta ei teeni lihtsalt oma peast. He submits to the greater one who lives on the inside. Vaid tema alistub temale, sellele suuremale, kes elab temase. And God knows exactly where you're at. Ja, Jumal teab täpselt, kus sina oled oma elus. He knows exactly what you need. Ta teab täpselt, mida sina vajad. And you'll find that he will read your mail. Ja, sa, sa siis ka seda sa tead. Sa võib-olla hakkab mõtlema, et ta loeb minu kirja vahetuste, minu meili. He will speak directly into very specific situations in your life. Et Jumal siis teab kõike sinu elus ja ta räägib täpselt siis erinevates olukordades sinu eluse. Sometimes it might scare you. Ja mõnikord see võib sind hirmutada. That may not be bad. Et see ei pruugi olla halb. The, the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But the Holy Ghost will guide and direct him to speak. From the Bible right into where you're at. Giving you answers. Providing direction. Confirming decisions that you're weighing and deciding on. Kinnitab sind otsustes, kus kohas seal kaalud, kus sa otsustad. I'm very fond of Pastor Barry, but once again, this is a God thing. This is beyond the man. But it's not so much because of, uh, uh, of something special about Pastor Barry. Although he has a very big part, the key is you come prepared to receive. Kohale, nii, et sa ette valmistatud, et vastu võtta. And you recognize him in his office. Ja sina tunned ära tema, tema ametise. You look past the little things that you might know. Or... Sina vaatad mööda nendest väikestest asjadest, mida sa võibolla tead. And when you come to church, you're not just expecting to receive from Pastor Barry. Ja kui sina tuleb kogudusse, siis sa lihtsalt ei oota, et vastu võtta Pastor Barry käest. But you're expecting that he'd be a conduit like this up here running power. Vaid sa ootad seda, et siin sellest nagu siin need juhtmed jooksavad, et sa võtad vastu Jumala väest. He's connected to heaven and that power then goes out et from and through him. Et tema on ühendatud taevaga ja siis see vägi tuleb läbi tema sinusse. Um, look at, uh, let's look at Ephesians chapter 3. Ja vaatame kirja Efelastele kolmas peadit. Every believer needs a pastor. Iga usklik vajab pastorit. Ephesians 3:14 says this. Kirja Efelastele kolmas pead ükke salm 14 ütleb seda. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. 3:14. Selle pärast ma põlitan isa eese. Ephesians 3.15 says, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Ja Salm 15 ütleb, kelle käest iga suguvusel taevas ja maa pealt saab nime. Listen, God is our Father. Ja kuule seda, Jumal on meie isa. We are his family. Me ei oleme tema perekonda. You have a great big brother here. Sul on siin üks suur vende. And Jesus is his brother. Ja Jeesus on tema vende. Your brother as well. Ja sinu vend samuti. If you have brothers or sisters. Kui sul on õdesid vendi. Uh, you, can, you can understand how they can help at times. But we are a part of the family of God. You are a part of this family. Avery, I'm so blessed to have with me on this trip. And she has just one sister. But if Avery and Riley aren't doing their part as our family, 
We notice that something's lacking. Siis me teame seda, et midagi on puudu. We're not able to take care of our guests as well as we might like. Me ei ole võimus seda kanma hoolduma külalist eest nii hästi kui me võiks seda teha. Everyone in the family of God has a place. Iga lühe Jumala perekonna, Jumala perekonnas on paik. We all have a part to play. Me iga lühe on osa teha. And here, right here. Ja siin, just siin. God has a place for you to fill. Jumalal on paik sinu jaoks, mida täita. There's a supply that you can bring. On olemas varustus, mida sina saad tuua. Maybe it's not on the stage leading praise and worship. Ja võibolla see ei ole siin lava peal, kui sa juhaltad ülistust ja kiitust. Or back in the sound booth, running sound or lights. Või seal tagagus kohas sa siis reguleerid seda heli või valgust. But we need warm folks to greet guests when they arrive. Meil on vaja ka kedagi, kes tervitab külalisi, kes tulevad. You need somebody on bathroom duty to get people up and back. Meil on vaja kedagi selles toaletti teenistusse, kes juhaltab inimesi sinna ja tagasi. I've been impressed by so many that have come and put in time here over the last number of days. Ja ma olen nii imestunud nende nii paljude pärast, kes on tulnud siin viimastel päevadel ja nad on tulnud siia ja nad on pannud oma aja ja pingutuse. I think most everything was already here, so there's a lot of work I didn't even see. Nii et ma arvan seda, et enamus asjad olid siin juba tehtud, nii et kui mina siia tulin, ma ei näinud siin suurt osa tööst, mis on tehtud. But there's lots of things that you can't even see that have happened, that it took somebody, it took some hands. Aga siin on nii palju siit asju, mida sina võibolla ei näe, märka, mis nõudis seda, et keegi tuleks, keegi teeks tööd, paneks oma käed külge. It took a family coming together to pull it off. Et see nõudis seda, et pere tuleks kokku ja teeks seda, et see asi saaks tulla selliseks esile, nagu ta on. This looks so great compared to where we started early in the week. Ja see paistab nii väge välja võrreldes sellega, kus me siin nädal alguses alustasime. And so there'll be opportunity for the church to kind of step up and say, hey, I'm a part of the family, I want to help. Nii et kogutselt saab olema nüüd see võimalus, kus kohal sa saad tõstu oma käe üles, et ma olen ka osa perekonnast, ma soovin aidata. And so just saying to Pastor Barry and Brenda, I can do whatever you need. Nii et ütle Pastor Barryle, Brenda, et ma saan teha, ma võin teha, mida iganes sul on vaja, et ma teeksin. We don't always need specialists. Me ei alati ei vaja spetsialiste. I can only do this. Et ma suusan teha nüüd seda. No, when I need something, Avery's going to do it. Ei, kui mul on vaja midagi, siis Avery teeb seda. If Riley's not nearby, then Avery's on. Kui Riley ei ole lähedal, siis Avery on see, kes see teeb asja ära. And so this is one of those seasons where it's a great opportunity. Ja nüüd on see praegu üks sellest ajast, kus on väga suur võimaluse. I can run a vacuum. Et ma saan võtta kätte tolmu ime ja teha puhtaks siin. Lappiga teha põrand puhtaks. I can paint. Ma saan värvida. I can do whatever you need to, pastors. Pastorida, ma saan teha, mida iganes teie soovite. Because we want more people in. Kuna meie tahame seda, rohkem inimesi tuleks sisse. We want more folks to know Jesus. Me tahame seda, et rohkem inimesi tunneks Jeesust. We're a growing family. Ja meie oleme kasva perekonda. So really, pastors Barry and Brenda almost serve as like a mom and a dad right here. Ja tegelikult pastor Barry ja Brenda, nad on nagu ema ja isa siin. They're examples in love and purity and truth and integrity. Nad on eeskujud armastuses, puhtuses, väärikuses, headuses. And very importantly in doctrine. Ja väga tähtis asi ka see, et õiges õpetuses doktriinise. Because Pastor Barry submitted to the head of the church. Kuna Pastor Barry, tema on alistanud ennast koguduse peale. He's not going to allow foolish stuff in this auditorium. Et tema ei lase siia seda, et siin räägitakse rumaled asju. Listen, if he hears there's wolves coming after different family members here in this place. Ja kui ta kuuleb seda, et kundid tulevad erinevate selle pere liikmete kallale. He's going to go take care of the wolf. Siis ta läheb ja ta kannab hoolt nende hundid eest. You know, the Bible says, because God loves us, Ja Bible ütleb seda, et kuna Jumal meid armastab, He corrects us. Tema korrigeerib meid. Now, I don't know about you, I'm not really fond of receiving correction. It's not my favorite. Ja ma ei tea, kuidas sinuga lood on, et ma eriti ei ole, eriti ei ole vaimustuses sellest, et vastu võtta korrigeerimist. But it's valuable. Aga see on väga väärtusid kasi. And if people love us, Ja ka inimesed, need, kes meid armastavad, They will correct us. Siis nad korrigeerivad meid. I love Avery. Mina armastan Avery-t. Because I love her, she can't go play in the street. Kuna mina armastan teda, siis ta ei saa minna tänavale mängima. And if she tries, I will go get her. Sõidu tee peale. Kui ta proovib seda teha, siis ma lähen võtanud ära sealt. And we'll administer a little bit of discipline. Ja siis ma teenin teda natuke disipliiniga. And the key is when you start early with little ones. Ja võti on selles, kui sina alustad varakult väikestega. It gets easier as they grow older. Siis sul see läheb lihtsamaks, kui nad saad vanemaks. But if we let the reins out and let our kids do whatever they want, aga kui meie laseme oma lastel minna teha, mida iganes nemad tahavad, it's hard to pull those back. Siis on väga raske neid jälle tagasi saada. And the Bible says, once again in John 10.10, ja jällegi Biibel ütleb Johannes Evangelium 10.10, 
The thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. He wants to steal, kill and destroy from each and every one of you. He wants to steal, kill and destroy in everybody's life. But your shepherd, your pastor, if you call this home, he's supernaturally equipped to see things, to recognize things, to call things out in our lives, to call people out if they need to be called out, and to run them off. Local church is a safe place. Pastor Barry is supernaturally equipped to take care of you. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 10. In verse 2 it says this. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another and so much the more as ye see the days approaching. Hebrews 10, 2. Hebrews 10, 2. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. 10, 25. Hold on now. Ärgeme, jätkeme unarusse oma koguduse koos käimiste, nõnda nagu on mõnele kombekse, vaid julgustageme selleks üks teist ja seda enam, mida rohkem te näete, seda päeva lähenevat. All right, so in the book of Hebrews, with the help of your pastor, nii et Heebrea kirjas ja teie pastor abiga, I'm in the right place. The Bible says we're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. It's important that we come together. Right here on Sunday morning, this is like the dinner table for our family. When we get to the end of the day, it doesn't happen every day, but as often as possible. My wife and I like to have our girls with us at the dinner table. What happened at school? How did basketball go? How did the math test go? It's just where we get together and we encourage one another. When you come to church, you will be encouraged. And we should be reaching out and encouraging one another. We should be taking an interest in our family. We can be praying for one another. If somebody is sick, we can take a meal. If somebody misses, we call and say, hey, where were you? We missed you. This is to be a family. This is not a performance. You have many talented folks on your stage. Playing, singing. Pastor Barry's good preacher. Pastor Barry on hea jutustaja. But this is not to be a spectator sport. Aga see ei ole see paik, kuhu kohta tulla, istuda seal ja vaadata esinejaid ja kaasa elada. Go Pastor Barry! Pastor Barry, ela kaasa! Give me something good! Tähenda Pastor Barry, mine pane, anna mulle midagi head. No, we're supposed to participate. Ei, me ei peame olema osa sellest. When it's time to worship God, we should be lifting our hands. When, when we're greeting our friends, we should be warmly, Hey, how are you? I haven't seen you, Roland. It's been a long time. Because this church is bigger than Pastor Barry and Miss Brenda themselves. It's bigger than Tallinn. Bigger than Estonia. It's bigger than Europe. You're part of a universal body. We're brothers and sisters. I'm the one that can't speak Estonian at all. But I am family. You are family. When we worship God, once again, I don't understand Estonian like I wish I could. 
But when you began to worship God, the presence of God came into this place. Aga kui sina hakkasid ülistama Jumalat, siis Jumala ligiolu tuli siia paika. Just like it does in Oklahoma when I go on Sunday mornings. Täpselt samamoodi nii nagu see Jumal teeb seda siis, kui mina lähen Oklahoma oma kodukogudusse. The same joy. See sama rõõme. The same peace. See sama rahu. The same life. See sama elu. Same spirit of liberty. See sama vabaduse vaime. Comes into this place. See tuleb siia paika. It's universal. Ja see on ülemaailmne. And so it doesn't matter where you're from. Nii et see vahet ei ole, kus kohas sina oled pärit. Or where you go. Või kuhu sina oled minemas. Uh, God is with you. Jumal on koos sinuga. And there's a pastor. Ja on pastor. And there's a church family. On koguluse perekonda. That you need to take your place in. Et kus kohas sina pead võtma ka oma koha. Amen. Amen. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Ja vaatame nüüd esimene kiri Korintlastele 12. peadükke. Verse 18. Ja salme 18. It says this, it says, But now hath God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. 12, 18. Mm-hmm. Aga nüüd on Jumal seadnud iga üksiku liikme ihu külge, nõnda nagu tema tahtis. God's put you in this place. Jumal on panud sind siia paika. And he's going to show you ja tema näitab sulle the place where you can give your supply here. Seda paika, kus kohas sina siis saad olla, siis kaasa lüüa siin paigas. If you just watch and listen to pastors Barry and Brenda. Kui sina isalt vaatad ja kuulad pastor Barryt ja Brendat. You'll be very aware of opportunities. Sa saad olema väga teadlik võimalustest. And as you listen to the spirit of God on the inside. Ja kui sina kuulad Jumala vaimu endas. He may quicken you. Yeah, you need to jump in right there. Siis ta võib õhutada siin. Jah, sa peaksid sellesse valdkonda kaasa. You may need to be a part. Sa peaksid olema osa sellest. You know, we do that in so many different ways. Ja meie teeme seda väga paljudel erinevatel viisidel. In volunteer capacities. Et me oleme siis vabad tahtlikutena, kuskil midagi teeme. In our finances, giving. Oma finantsidega anname. Um, uh, praying for one another. Paaletame üksteise eest. You should pray for your pastor. Sa peaksid paaletama oma pastori eest. The Apostle Paul asked for prayers. Uh, siis Apostel Paulus, ta palus seda, et tema eest paaletataks. He, he asked those that, that he preached to and shared with. Ja ta paluse, et nende käes, kellele tema jutustas, kellele tema kuulutas. To pray for him that he'd uh, preach the gospel with boldness and with clarity. Et nemad paletaksid tema eest, et ta kuulutakse evangeeliumid julguse ja selgusega. And as you pray for your pastor. Ja kui sina paletad oma pastori eest. I guarantee you begin to see he's going to be you're going to start hearing from God a little more siis clearly. Siis ma garanteerin sulle seda, et sa hakkad kuulma Jumala käest natukene selgemine. As you pray for Pastor Barry during the week when you come to church on Sunday or kui, Wednesday. Kui sina paletad Pastor Barry eest ja tule kogudusse kas nädala lõpus või nädala sees kolm päeval. The word of God's going to start jumping off and jumping Jum- out. Jumala sõna hakkab üppama nii öelda esile, see hakkab üppama nii, et sa saad aru sellest, sa näed selle asju. Because you're helping your pastor. Kuna sina aitad oma pastorite. You're creating a supply in the spirit of God. Et sina lood sellise varustuse Jumala vaimuse. It makes it very easy for him to go whatever direction that God wants him to go. Siis tema jaoks on lihtne minna, mis iganes suunda Jumal tahab, et tema läheks. Uh, for others. Ja teiste jaoks. But also for you. Aga ka samuti sinu jaoks. And so uh, it's important to understand that God's put you in this place. Need sinu jaoks on oluline mõista seda, et Jumal on panud sind siia paika. And and as you stay faithful in your place. Ja kui sina oled ustav oma kohas, you're going to find that this is a place of provision. Siis sina saad leidma, et see on varustuse paik. It's a place of protection. See on kaitse paik. It's a place of care. See on hoolitsuse paik. It's a place where you get to grow up. See on paik, kus kohas sina saad kasvada täiskasvanuks. And and as you're faithful. Ja kui sina oled ustav the Bible says, siis Bibel ütleb, a faithful man or woman, usta mees või naine, will abound in blessing. Et saab küllusliku õnnistuse. You'll find the blessing of the Lord increasing as you stay faithful to come to church. Sa leiad seda, et õnnistus isendas kasvab suuremaks, kui sina oled usta koguduses. As you take your place and do whatever it is that God's put in your heart. Kui sina võtad oma koha, sa teed mida iganes, mida Jumal sulle südamesse paneb teha. And, uh, and you'll get direction. Ja sa saad juhi seida. Uh, the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. Bibel ütleb seda, et hea mehe samud on juhatatud isende poolt. As you acknowledge him in every way, he'll direct you, he'll guide you. Kui sina tunnustad teda igal oma teel, igas asjas, siis tema juhatab, tema juhib sinda. So this church, it's a supernatural place. Nii et see kogudus on üle loomulik paik. Let me, uh, let's look at another scripture here. Ja vaatame ühte teist kirja kohta siin. In Jeremiah chapter 3. Ja Jere, Jeremia kolmas peadükke. Verse 15. Ja salmist 15. Talking about the pastor. Ja siin räägib pastorist. 
It says this, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Ja ma annan teile karjaseid oma südame järgi, ja need karjatavad teid targasti ja taibukalt. Knowledge is important. Et see on targastis on väga tähtise. Understanding or wisdom is important. Et tarkuse mõistmine on väga oluline. If you were to go through the book of Proverbs, say the first four chapters, kui sina lähed läbi õpetus sõnadest ütleme selle esimesest neljast pealtükist, as you come into this place and you submit to Pastor Barry's preaching and teaching, kui sa tuled siia paika ja siis sa alistad ise ennast Pastor Barry ja brenda õpetus alla, you'll increase in knowledge and wisdom, siis sina kasvad tarkuses ja teadmistese. And these are some of the benefits outlined in the book of Proverbs, which you'll need to look at. Ja need on mõned asjad siis, mida tuuakse esile õpetus sõnades, mida sa peaksid lugema. The Bible says you'll dwell safely. Ja Piibel ütleb seda, et siis sa elada turvalist elu. You'll have no fear of evil. Sul sa ei pea hirmu kartma, sa ei pea kurja kartma. You'll understand righteousness. Sa mõistad õiksust, õigust. You'll have discretion. Et sul on... You'll have discretion. You'll be able to understand. Et sa oled siis võimine aru saama, sul on mõistmine asjadest aru saamine. You'll be happy. Sa oled õnnelik. You'll be honored. Sa saad olema austatud. You'll enjoy more riches. Sa rohkem naudid rikkusi. You'll have more length of days. Sul on rohkem elupäevi. The Bible's clear that the word of God's a tree of life. Ja piibele teeb ka selgeks seda, et Jumala sõna on elupuu. There'll be less stumbling in your life. Et sinu elus saab olema vähem komistamisi. You'll sleep sweetly. Sa sa magad magusa tunde. Like after some of these work days. Nagu peale mõnda seda rasket tööpäeva. I don't even remember what day it was, but I slept very sweetly after working. Ma isegi mäet, mis päes oli aga peale töötamist, mina magasin väga magusa tunde. You'll be preserved, you'll be kept and promoted. Sa saad olema hoitud ja sa saad olema ülendatud. The word of God is life and health to all of your flesh. Ja Jumala sõna on terviseks kogu sinu ihule ja elukse. See God's not domineering. Nii et Jumal siis ei kuidagi ei. He doesn't dominate. Et tema ei domineeri sind, ta lihtsalt ei pane sind paika. He's not mean. Et tema ei ole kuri. He instructs and he trains. Vaid tema juhatab ja tema treenib. And so thank God for pastors like Barry and Brenda. Nii et tänu Jumalale pastorit eest nii ka Barry ja Brenda. Who will instruct and train. Kes juhatavad ja kes treenivad. Amen. Amen. Well, let me see here. I'm going to share just two more scriptures and then we're going to wrap this up this morning. Okay? We've touched on this. I got way ahead earlier, I believe. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. It says this, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I think that's 11 and 12. Tema on, tema on see, kes on pannud mõned apostleiks ja mõned profeteiks ja mõned evangelistiseks, mõned karjaseiks ja õpetajaiks, et pühi inimesi valmistad abistamistööle Kristuse ihu üle seitamiseks. These are supernatural gifts that Jesus has given the church. Need on üle loomulikud annid, millel Jeesus on annud kogudusele. And so there will be different times that Pastor Barry will have different gifts come through, I'm certain. Nii et saab olema erinevad aegu, kus kohas Pastor Barry läbi saad nähtaks erinevad annid, ma olen kindel selles. But as pastors, we typically are general practitioners. We just cover everything. We can... Aga pastoritena me oleme sellised üldised tööristad, et me katame kõike. But your pastor is supernaturally equipped by the head of the church. Aga sinu pastor on üle loomulikult varustada, et olla koguduse pea. To help perfect you. Et aidata siis sul saada paremaks. To help you grow. Et aidata sul kasvada. To encourage you. Et julgustada sind. To lift you. Et tõsta sind üles. Correct you if need be. Et korrigeerida sind, kui on vaja. Because Jesus, he loves you. Kuna Jeesus armastab sind. And so... Let me let me share one more scripture over Mark chapter six. Ja, lass me jagada veel ühe kirja koha Markus evangeelium kuues peadike. And actually, you can, if you take a note, just write this down. Mark chapter six verses one through five. Ja, tegel kui sa teed märkmed, siis kirjutas üles liiselt Markus evangeelium kuues peadike ja salmid üks, how many verses? Verse one through five. Salmid üks kuni viis. So in this passage of scripture, Jesus. Mii et siin endes kirja kohtudes Jeesus räägib. He came into a place, and and he was ministering. Yeah, he was preaching and he was teaching. Ta jutustas, ta kuulutas. 
And once again, the word of God is alive. Ja, jällegi, Jumala sõna on elav. It's powerful. See on väeline. Uh, Jesus said my words are spirit and life. Jeesus ütles seda, et minu sõna on, minu sõna on elu ja vaime. So the power of God was present to heal. Nii et Jumala vaim oli seal kohale terveks teha. It was present to set free. See oli seal kohale teha vabaks. It was present to bring life. Et see oli seal selleks, et tuua elu. It was present to lift. Et, et see oli seal selleks, et tõsta üles. But many of those that were in the place Aga paljud nendes, kes olid seal kohal, said, well, who, who is this man? Isn't this the son of Joseph? Ütlesid, et kes on see mees, et kas tema ei ole see Joosefi poeg või? Uh, um, the carpenter's son? Et see puusepa poeg. Uh, he's just a man. Et ta on ju lihtsalt inimene. Listen, it's important that, that you esteem the office that Pastor Barry is in. Kuule, see on väga tähtsi, et sina hindad seda ametit, milles Pastor Barry on. And so, yes, he is a man. Ja, ta on inimene. But God equips him supernaturally. Aga Jumal varustab teda üle loomulikult. And Jesus could do no mighty works, not because there wasn't power available. Ja Jeesus ei, ei olnud nii, et Jeesus ei saanud teha seal vägevaid tegu, kuna seal ei olnud väge kohal. Not because God didn't want to reach down and help anyone and everyone there. Mitte sellepärast, et Jumal ei tahnud sirutada sinna välja aidata seal igalt ühte, kes seal kohal oli. But because they were too familiar mm. with him. Vaid selle tõttu, et nad võtsid teda, ah, jah, me they tunneme, looked at, me teda. They looked at Jesus as a man. Nad vaatsid, et tema peale lihtsalt kui inimese peale. It hindered God from doing what he wanted to do. Ja selle, see takistas Jumalat nii, et Jumal ei saanud teha läbi Jeesuse seda, mida ta tahtis. And so it's important that when we come. Nii et meie jaoks on tähtis see, et kui me tuleme siia kohale, that we're expecting to receive from God. Et me ei ootame, et vastu võtta Jumala käest. Through Pastor Barry and, and Pastor Brenda. Läbi Pastor Barry ja Pastor Brenda. And as you come expecting. Ja kui sina tuled ootusega. Willing to serve. Et sa oled valmis teenima. Willing to bring whatever supply that you have. Valmis siis tooma igat varustus, mis sul olemas on. Willing to jump in wherever is needed. Valmis siis üppama kaasa, aitama seal, kus iganes on vajaduse. You and I create an atmosphere. Siis sina ja mina meie loome sellise õhkkonna. Where by the spirit of God he can begin to speak into individual lives. Kus tema läheb Jumala vaimu saab hakata rääkima üksik iga inimese ellu. You create an atmosphere where healing can flow. Siis sa lood sellise õhkkonna, kus kohas see tervemine saab oolata. Where miracles can happen. Kus kohas see imeteot saad sündida. It's not a lack of prayer. Et asja ei ole palve puuduses. It's not because his message wasn't great. Selle tõttu, et tema sõnum ei olnud hea. It can be a family challenge. Vaid see saab olla selline perekonna välja kutse. Because my Avery and Riley are sitting and watching. And all right, go ahead and perform, Dad. Kuna minu siis Avery ja Riley nad istuvad, sa ütlevad, no jah, no näita, mis sa oskada. What are you doing for me today? Mis sa teed täna minu jaoks? No, we need each ei, other. Ei, meie vajame üks teist. We're here for each other. Meie oleme siin üks teise jaoks. Without you, no, no matter how good Pastor Barry preached, Ilma sinuta vahet ei ole, kui, aspa, kui hästi Pastor Barry jutustab. Or Pastor Brenda. Kui Pastor Brenda. Uh, the folks won't be taken care of. Siis inimesed ei, inimesed eest ei kanta hoolt siis. It takes a family. See nõuab perekonda. It takes all of us. Selleks on vaja kõik igat ühte meist. And so know this, God's plans for you are good. Nii et tea seda, et Jumala plaanid sinu jaoks on this head. This is just the beginning et of exciting new season. See on alles algus, põnema aja alguse. God wants to increase you more and more. Jumal tahab anda sulle kasvu rohkem ja rohkem. You and your children. Sulle ja sinu lastele. And as it goes in this house. Ja mis puutub sellesse maia. So it can go in your house. Et see, nii nagu see toimub siin, see saab toimuda ka sinu koduse. When you seek first the kingdom of God. Et kui sina otsid esmalt Jumala kuningriiki. And his righteousness. Ja tema õiksust. Then everything else will be added to you. Siis kõike muud antakse sulle lisaks. You'll find promotion on your job. Sa leiad seda, et siin töö juures ülendatakse. Your husband's going to look better. Et sinu abikasal saab nägema parem välja. Your wife's going to seem so much nicer. See sinu naine saab ka palju keram välja nägema. Your children are great. Sinu lapsed on lihtsalt suure pärased. But it's all a matter of seeking first the kingdom of Aga God. See kõik, see oluline asja on see, et sa esmalt otsid Jumala kuningriiki. And then he'll begin in adding all those things that you want, that you need. Ja siis tema hakkab lisama kõiki neid asju, mida sina vajad. But if we look to him first, Aga kui meie vaatame esmalt tema poole, he'll help us take care of things in the right time. Siis tema aitab meil kanda asjad eest toolt õigel ajal. Let's close in prayer. Ja lõpetame palves. Father, in the name of Jesus. Isa, Jeesuse nimel. We thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. Of getting Pastor Barry and Brenda and the church into this facility. Thank you for a faithful family. Giving of their finances, giving of their talents. Giving their time. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for increasing them. Isa, Jeesus nimel, aitäh, et sina annad neile kasvu. We're blessed to be a blessing. Me ei ole mõnistatud, et olla õnistuseks. And so, Father, as we continue to seek you first. Nii et, Isa, kui meie jätkuvalt otsime sind esmalt. 
Thank you for many additions that will begin happening. Siis aitäh sulle sellest, et palju seda asju hakatakse lisama juurde. New families sitting in these seats. Uued perekonnad saad istuma nendel istmetel. Uh, this facility filling up with people. See hoone, see ruum saab täidetud inimestega. That are uh, tasting and seeing that God is a good God. Kes maitsevad, näevad seda, et Jumal on hea Jumal. We thank you that this facility. Me tänamas ind sellest, et see hoone. Will begin to uh, hold the presence of God. Saab hakkama hoidma Jumala ligi olu. That when the family comes back next week. Nii et kui perekond tuleb tagasi järgi nädal. It just smells like home. Siis see lõhnab kodu järgi. It feels like home. See, see, siin on selline tunne nagu kodu. The spirit of God is already here. Jumala vaim on juba siin. And where your spirit is, Father, there is liberty. Ja isa seal, kus on sinu vaim, seal on vabadus. And so thank you for guests that will come. Nii et aitäh sulle enda külaist ees, kes tulevad. As soon as they walk through the doors. Nii pea, kui nad astuvad sisse uustest. They experience your goodness. Nemad kogevad sinu headust. They taste your presence. Nad maitsevad sinu ligiolu. And they be hungry for more. Ja nad on näljased enama järgi. And then they come and they sit in these seats. Ja nad tulevad, nad istuvad nende listmetel. They'd be well taken care of by the church family. And Father, thank you that you continue to increase Pastor Barry and Brenda. Stronger unction. They speak your words. They declare your goodness. And as they do, Ja kui nad teevad seda, we thank you that you confirm your words with signs following. Me tänamsin sellest, et sina kinnitad oma thank sõna tunnustähtade ime tegudega. Thank you for an increase in healings and miracles. Aitäh sulle kasvu eest, terenemist eest, ime eest. Thank you for an increase in demonstrations of the spirit of God. Aitäh sulle, et sina annad kasvu, et, et sin, sina kinnitad oma sõna tunnustähtade ime tegudega oma vaimuga. And Father, because of that, we thank you for an increase in every family. Ja isa, selle tõttu me tänam siin kasvu eest igas perekonnase. Blessing them in their jobs. Õnista neid nende töö, töö juures. Blessing them in their marriages. Õnista neid nende abieluse. Blessing them in their families. Õnista neid nende perekonnas. Blessing them in their bodies. Õnista neid nende kehades. We thank you that by Jesus' stripes they were healed. Me tänam siin sellest, et Jeesuse Kristuse vermete läbi nad on tehtud terveks. Healing power continues to work in them. Ja, sinu terendav vägi teeb jätkuvalt tööd neise. Father, we love you. Isa, me armastame sinda. With every head bowed, with all of your eyes closed. Ja, iga pea kumardatud, iga silm suletud. I ask you just to, to um, be open right now as the Holy Spirit begins to move. Ma palun olla sul praegu avatud, kui Jumala vaim hakkab liikuma. Jesus loves each and every one of you. Jesus armastab igalt ühte teiste. His plans for you are only for good. Tema plaanid sinu jaoks on ainult head. And if there's any that are here today that would say Brant, ja kui täna siin paigas on keegi, kes ütleks, et Brant, I've never invited Jesus to be my savior. Ma mitte kunagi ei ole kutsunud Jeesust, et oleks minu päästja. I believe he was the son of God. Ma usun seda, et ta on Jumala poega. I believe he died on a cross. Ma usun seda, et tema suri ristile. I believe they put him in a tomb for three days. Ma usun seda, et nad panid tema hauda kolmaks päevaks. And I believe God raised him from the dead. Ja ma usun seda, et Jumal äratas tema surnust üles. If you believe that, kui sina usud seda, then all you need to do is invite Jesus to be your savior. Siis kõik, mida sina pead tegema, on see, et sa pead kutsuma Jeesuse oma isandaks ja päästjaks. So if there's any here today that say, Brant, that's me, I haven't done that, but I want to. Raise your hand right now. Kui täna siin paigas on keegi, kes ütleb, et ma pole seda teinud, aga ma sooviks seda teha, siis tõsta praegu oma käsi. Anybody at all? Kas siin on kedagi? Amen. Well, Father, right now in Jesus' name. Isa, praegu Jeesuse nimele. Thank you for your word. Aitäh sulle sinu sõna eest. It is spirit and life. See on vaim ja elu. Thank you, Father, that it will help the family. Isa, aitäh sulle selle eest, et sa aitab perekonda. Each one in this room. Iga üks siin ruumis. Father, that you would help them. Et isa, sina igat ühte siin ruumis aita neid. You would uh, increase them. Anna neile kasvu. You would bless them. Õnnista neid. Father, in Jesus' name, they go home a different way. Isa, Jeesus, nimel, et nad läheksid koju teissugusena. Help us to be doers of your word. Aita meil olla sinu sõna tegijad. Because it's the doers of the word that are blessed. Tele pärast, et sõna tegijad on need, kes on õnnistatud. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your blessing that's upon this church. Nii et isa, Jeesus, ja nimel, me tänam siin selle õnnistuse ees, mis on selle koguduse üle. Not just this physical facility, but upon each family, each individual. Mitte lihtsalt see füüsise hoone üle, vaid iga perekonna üle, iga üksik inimese üle. 
Help us to be all you've called us to be in these last days. Help us to reach those around us who are, are, are dying without Jesus and on their way to hell. We will let our light shine. Individually. And as a church. We love you. Me armastame sinde. We're grateful for Jesus. Me oleme täunlikud Jeesuse eest. We're grateful to call you savior. Me oleme täunlikud, et me saame hüüda sind oma päästeks. You're our friend. Sina oled meie sõber. We love you. Me armastame sinde. In Jesus name. Jeesuse nimel. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Oh, thank you. Brant, you are awesome. Aitäh, Brant.